uh, today's video is the sequence of developing thinking patterns in chess. This game was played between Yunus Malgani and Dr. Muhammad Ayub. And in this game, both players made mistakes. This was a blitz game actually also. And uh, in this game, you would see that how both of players, like in the last video, I have discussed um, my game and Abdul Kujim, that they were playing at many instances without plans without playing as per the requirement of the position which it demands instead of it just making the moves without clear plan in their mind let's start with the game game started with d4 knight f6 knight c3 d5 bishop g5 g6 knight into f6 pawn into f6 and e4 and this is a mistake actually I think Yunus Malgani wanted Dr. Yub to not play the Grunfield defense. So he took the knight on uh, f6. And black had take it with the pawn on e7. But when you have succeeded in your effort and uh, you have uh, derived black from playing his best opening then why you are playing this move this move why just you go standard as your dark square bishop is exchanged then you should have an other plan in your mind that what type of structure do you want instead of here instead of the move which was played in the game and that was e4 better was to play sorry better was to play the move h3 stopping black for playing on this square uh, g4 after this c6 strengthening this one on d4 sorry d5 e3 bishop d6 Bishop d3. Here I would uh, just illustrate one thing that this is a tomb. And after castling over here, black could bring his king to over here. And white has no good way to destroy it by playing this or this because black at any time would go with playing this. This is the best storm which black has. But in the game, uh, Dr. Yub also went for this style. But it is, was the requirement actually of the position. But here it was for the white. When uh, you have devised your you have restricted of your opponent from playing his pet opening then you should devise your plan your structure accordingly in this structure your pieces are more active white species like see knight f3 it is hitting it is coming uh, came to a better scale whenever the black would play this move f5 these scares are juicy for white queen c7 castle f5 now see these scares are juicy for white b3 now here if you could see if the game has gone in this way then black pawns are hitting over here on the king side black's attack is on going to be on the king side as all the pieces are fitting on the king side so the white's plan would be 
that he is going to strike in the center. Opening up these files for his rook at this side. Whenever you are hit on the king side, you should start fight on the center or on the other side of the board. You should not start fighting on the same side as then you would be defending yourself against the attack. So whenever the fight is started over here on the king side, you should start the fight in the center. If the fight is started in the center, you should start the fight over here. So we go back to our main position e4 d into e4 knight into e4 and bishop g7 as per the position this move is better because uh, after some time black uh, is going to play the move f5 to kick out this knight on the e4 square he would have to go back to c3 or g3 c3 is better for it instead of g3 because at g3 these squares are covered for knight but on e3 if he goes over e3 then these squares are juicy the d5 square the b5 square and the e4 square this is the type of plan you have to just make in your mind when you are going to make your move Instead of playing the move bishop to this g7 immediately, it was better to take control of this square first by hitting this knight. So instead of, sorry, instead of here, bishop g7, f5 was better because knight has to go back, then bishop g7. Now this diagonal is completely open. Try to wait for a move when you can achieve it on one instance. Queen e to check, bishop e6, castle and c6. Now the fight, now the black is going to fight on the queen side. As is both bishops are eyeing the queen side, pawns and pieces and dike also. So the black will fight on the queen side and he will develop like this. In that instant, white, uh, sorry, white may bring his forces over here by playing the move g3, bishop to g2, knight to f3, and etc. Taking control of this game. White may put all his efforts to take this control of this scale. And black will uh, try to launch his knight to this scale. Or here, or here. These are the plans actually. Which way you have to see. Just imagine your PCs when you are playing a game. Just imagine them. Imagine your pieces that where they should be when you are playing your playing the game. What is the better placement for them? Just imagine them. So we give back to our game after bishop g7. C3 was played. Why play the move c3? Why not to bring your knight to a better scale? which is controlling this scale d5 in the black strategy e4 this one this one and this p5 it was better to play back your knight to over here on c3 because after castle which dr you did the rook is coming over here threatening this knight and you will have to block this by this f3 
you can't play f3 obviously because that would be a mistake you will have to be blocked this by this bishop or this knight and then you will have to move this knight over here or here why to this scale they everything is protected by the black pawns so he was played after that castle and bishop e2 instead of that the best move was that please knight d2 because after this move just look at to do this after this move the move played in the game and the move in the game rook e8 you have to move this knight over here this on g3 scale what vision does this knight over here has because its scares are covered by the opponent's pawns and opponent species so better was here to immediately bring the knight to d2 now it has some vision it can go over here whenever the black would move his pawn to f5 then this has this can go here by the support of this f4 pawn if the position demands so we give back bishop to e2 rook e8 knight g3 c it has nothing all squares are covered by black black pawns and black pieces so f5 was played and then f4 is there any superficial type of threat to play this why not to develop instead of weakening your king side why not to develop your piece why not to develop your knight instead here develop the knight over here now if the h5 comes then there is no issue now you can play this move f4 after that you may go to castle after this move this key is covered if now black plays this move g5 then this move makes sense f4 because the exchange over f4 is not good for black he will move the pawn further to g4 and then this knight can move to f4 in this game both opponents i said that in the last game which i played played without basically proper plans in their minds and in the in, the, in this game also Yunus Malgani and Dr. Yu played without planning their minds. They just made the moves only. So f4 was played. Queen to h4. Why am I bringing your queen to h4? What is it hitting here? What type of firepower black has got over here? His bishop is here and it is hitting a dead end over here here just two scares over here f6 and h8 only this queen is over here and what is he doing here protecting uh, white's king is being protected by this pawn one two three knight rook knight bishop and queen and one piece is here what is it doing here there is no 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 reason for it the best move in this position was to play the move c5 d into c5 now the move was queen to c7 hitting this pawn both pawns and these are the type of d moves you should understand intermediate moves now this was an intermediate move indirectly hitting the pawn on d4 
and it likes that white is winning this pawn but when it takes after queen c7 you are going to lose one of them which pawn you want to give you want to give me f4 pawn or you want to give me the c5 pawn so we game go back to our position queen h4 was played knight h3 defending this pawn g5 a blunder does it make any sense over here to play this move g5 as there is only one piece which is attacking black's one piece on the whole this king side black is going to castle over here the better move was to play this move c5 over here Or just like this c5 d into c5 queen c7 and that's it after g5 the best move was to play c5 again then castle and then you can take this pawn after this now this pawn is isolated pawn Bishop can hit it. Knight can develop here, here, or knight can develop here or here. Coming to this square and then jumping over here. A beautiful knight maneuver. Protected with the rook over here. Bishop can come here, or bishop can come here on d7 and then come to c6. Just see it by one by one. Bishop to d7 and c6, and then knight may come to knight c6 and d7. Knight may move to d7, then to f6, and then to e4, and it is being protected by the rook on e8. This was the type of plan you must have in your mind when you are going to make your pieces move. Don't hit a dead wall. Like here. When this pawn is moved onto g5, black's bishop is basically hitting this dead wall. All scares are covered in this territory. This bishop has no better scope at present over here. Till the time this main pawn is exchanged and the best move due to this reason was c5 over here and this is due to the blunder because it is here whites a lot of pieces are protecting over here two knights three pawns this bishop queen is bishop is protected by queen and after this castle rook is coming to protect these all side king side so it was better to develop your pieces and see in the beginner's lecture, we understood, we are always advised to develop our pieces. See, black pieces, what are they doing over here? They have to be developed. And the thing Dr. Yu should have in his mind to first develop his pieces instead of attacking without with just one queen over here. So castle g4 knight f2 and bishop e6 that was a round about i would say it's a mistake but i think it's round about equal computer says that here knight c6 was better but i think that both are in equal moves so after bishop e6 bishop d3 now Yunus Malgani has a plan that he wants to hit this pawn which is unprotected which is just protected with one bishop over here and it is now attacked twice by knight on g3 and knight, uh, bishop on g3 and uh, Yunus Malgani is going to bring the queen to c, uh, c2 and then it will be only protected with the, this queen over here Two pieces will be protecting it and three pieces will be attacking it. 
और है क्वीन एफ सिक्स क्वीन सी टू एंड बिशप एच सिक्स एंड दैट वॉज अ ब्लैंड वाई टू मूव इन ए बिगिनर्स लेक्चर वी आर कॉन्टिन्यूसली टॉट दैट वाई टू मूव यूर पीस टवाइस इन द ओपनिंग फेज वेन देर आर पीस इज अनडेवलप्ड वेन यूर पीस इज अनडेवलप्ड सो दस्ट मूव हेयर वॉज टू नाइनटी सेवन डिवेलपिंग यूर पीस because this pawn is going to fall there is no way that you can protect it the best piece, best was to move the knight b7 developing your knight and then playing this move c5 hitting the center and then bringing the rooks to attack bishop h6 and knight d1 and this is the reason uh, in the last video i discussed and yunus mulkani did the same he might have thought of this that whatever black would play bishop or knight or whatsoever i am going to play this move knight to d1 and then i am going to play this move knight to e3 he had already thought it and he just instantly played it without giving his thought next uh, second thought to his plan or second thought to his moves after the black's reply that's why it's a blunder here simply knight into f5 free pawn when you have it why not take it it is it is a free pawn then this pawn is also attacked by the white knight on f2 black has to try to hold on to this pawn by moving something like this but it will be in vain because white species are completely in attacking positions over here they are attacking and this rook on a1 a1 is going to join on e1 so c5 was played at last dr you understood that this move is the best to hit in the center when i am being attacked on this king side d into c5 it was a mistake it is a blunder here the best move was why not to take this pawn why are you delaying this just take into bishop into f5 take it now this pawn is going to fall also after the moves like this or after the moves like this this move can't be played sorry but after the moves like this knight f2 this pawn is going to fall also the bishop will have to move and this this pawn so it's a blunder knight d7 it was another mistake now it was not the time to play it because this bishop on h6 is hanging so it is time to also understand that are there any hanging pieces of mine in this position so bring that bring all of them out of danger first instead of going to look after the another moves so here the best move was to play the bishop to f8 hitting this pawn over here and bringing this bishop out of danger so here bishop into f5 it was played bishop into c5 check the standard move after bringing that bishop out of danger that continuation i am going to discussing knight f2 bishop into f5 knight into f5 knight c6 knight g3 coming back knight knight e7 c now these pawns are moving making way sorry knight is making way rook a d1 rook a d8 rook into d8 rook into d8 king h1 this position is actually uh, 
better for white because his uh, species has scope in the position. Round about equal because of this stuck position of white over here, knight. This is equal end position, not better. I would say that round about equal position. Just this pawn is being hit, and uh, black is going to move this pawn or something, or going to try to save it by this by exchanging the queens. Might be so. After Yunus know, Malgani took the pawn on c5, knight to d7 was a mistake. I have already discussed that. Knight into f5 at last, Yunus know, Malgani took the pawn. Bishop knight into c5 and knight into h6 check. It was a blunder. The best move was here to play the move knight to f2. The reason behind it is. After bishop into f4, knight into g4, the second pawn all falls, queen g5, rook into f, bishop, queen into bishop, f4, rook f1, queen g5, h4, hitting the queen over here, queen d8 going back, and now bishop hitting the rook over here, taking back the control of this e file now bishop f8 6 check and here white is completely winning i know that this is a long line and you can't think it in your calculations in a blitz game but it all depends on the understanding positional understanding that which moves are better Always, like Grandmaster says, if you want to make a move, you should make that move in four moves. Do you understand that? You are going to make a move and that move is the most crucial one and you don't want your opponent to know that. So make that move into two moves or three moves. Don't let your opponent understand that what are you going to move. So after that, knight into a6 was played. That was the blunder. Queen into a6, knight e3, rook a d8. And here I don't understand that why Doctor you did not take this bishop over here. And this was the main attacker of white on this diagonal on b1 to h7 diagonal why he did not take that the attack of white has been fizzled out a black had taken this knight on d3 let's see knight into d3 queen into d3 rook a d8 now black species are active Queen c2, bishop c8, queen f2, queen b6, pinning this queen, rook fe1, rook fe4, g3, rook de8, building up on this knight, knight g2. And after the exchange, you may understand it completely that the position is equal. And black is better because he has this bishop. So after rook a d8, this Malgani played the move bishop c4, and that was the blunder. It was better to play the move bishop p5 instead. We'll go through the game because it is has reached round about in to the end. Bishop c4, bishop into c4, knight into c4, knight e4. Rook a d1, g3, h3, knight f2, rook into d8, rook into d8, queen f5, coming in the black territory. And here, Dr. You made a blunder, which ends the game immediately, and that was queen c6. Better was here to play the move b5. After queen takes b5, queen into f4. 
queen c5 rook d3 now the only thing white could try is a draw and to do draw he has to pile up on the king so what is he doing in the analysis that is piling up on king's white's king knight e5 rook e3 knight into d3 and knight into h3 check and this is a draw because this uh, uh, knight can't be taken because if you take it then queen into queen knight into queen and pawn into and you can't white can't stop this from becoming queen so after queen c6 came just does not require any further comments it was just over so from this you have understood that what does it means to have a clear plan in your mind before making the moves and not going for the moves which you have already thought you must give an other thought to that move always look for the unprotected pieces pawns of your opponents and make your plan according to that unprotected scares pieces or pawns in your opponent's territory and then make a plan devise a plan make your move and then after the opponent's reply rethink your move so this was today's lecture if you have if you like it then subscribe and hit the bell icon button thank you very much